This section will take approximately 10 minutes to be completed. This section is about history of terrorist attacks in the hospitality industry. One part of this section will guide you through the risk of terrorism in hotels, and the other part will help you to analyze the major terror attacks on hotels and provide a strategic level assessment of the attacks and frequency of global terror attacks against hotels from 2002 to 2011. Additionally, the section identifies the deadliest types of attacks, comparing casualty counts and attack methods. Hotels are viewed as soft targets by terrorists. The combination of potential for casualty and thin security perimeter makes hotels attractive for such attacks. Large crowds, easy access, ability to blend in with guests arriving and departing, many bags and parcels, etc., add to that attractiveness. As a hospitality provider, you have a duty to take steps to protect your guests, your employees, your neighbors, and your physical assets. Consider the following incidents directly affecting hotels. The Taj Mahal Hotel terrorist attack, which happened in Mumbai, India in 2008, where explosives in the lobby, elevators, and restaurant killed 31 before people and injured 28th the Grand Hotel bombing in Brighton, England in 1984 targeting Margaret Thatcher killed five people and injured 31. The King David Hotel bombing in Jerusalem, Israel killed 91 and injured 46. The hotel staff had ignored the bomb threats, warning calls primarily, due to the amount of hoax warnings at the time. The Islamabad Marriott Hotel bombing occurred during the night of the 20th of September 2008 when a dump truck filled with explosives detonated in front of the married hotel in the Pakistani capital of Islamabad, killing at least 54 people and injuring at least 266, leaving a 60-foot wide, 20-foot deep crater outside the hotel. On the 17th of July, 2009, the Jakarta bombing was referred as the twin suicide bombings, which occurred during the morning in the JW Marriott and the Ritz-Carlton hotels. Both blasts were caused by suicide bombers. One of them had even checked into the hotel as a guest several days earlier. The explosion killed nine people and 53 were injured. As soft targets, hotels are vulnerable to attacks, but well-trained hoteliers and staff can deal with emergencies in a clear and effective manner. Terrorism takes many forms, not just explosions or armed insurrection. It could be poisoning through your HVAC system or compromising your fire protection system, then setting a fire. Since 2002, there have been eight 
18 major terrorist attacks against hotels worldwide. A major attack is defined as an attack resulting in at least 10 casualties. Given below are a few of them. Click on each of them for more information. The 2002 Mombasa attacks refer to terrorist attacks on an Israeli-owned hotel and a plane belonging to an Israeli airline in Mombasa, Kenya on the 28th of November, 2002. An all-terrain vehicle crashed through a barrier outside the Paradise Hotel and blew up. At the same time, two surface-to-air missiles were fired at an Israeli charter plane. Paradise Hotel was the only Israeli-owned hotel in the Mombasa area. The blast occurred just after some 60 visitors had checked into the hotel. All of them were from Israel. 13 people were killed and 80 injured. The 2003 Marriott Hotel bombing occurred on the 5th of August 2003 in South Jakarta, Indonesia. A suicide bomber detonated a car bomb outside the lobby of the JW Marriott Hotel. The hotel was viewed as a Western symbol and had been used by the United States Embassy for various events. Two weeks prior to the bombing, there was a tip call to a senior Indonesia police officer that the two carloads of bomb-making materials were heading to the capital Jakarta. Twelve people were killed and 150 injured. The 2004 Sinai bombings referred to the three bomb attacks which targeted the Israel tourists in the Sinai Peninsula, Egypt occurring on the 7th of October, 2004. The explosions occurred on the night of the 7th of October near the Hilton Taba Hotel. Ten floors of the hotel collapsed following the blast. The next two bombings happened some 50 kilometers away from the Hilton Hotel. The first one took place in a car, parked right in front of the restaurant at the Moon Island Resort. Another blast happened moments later, targeting the Badiha Camp but did not harm anyone because the bomber had apparently been scared off from entering the campground by a guard. These three bombings resulted in 32 people killed and 171 injured. On the 9th of November 2005, a mom bombing refers to a series of coordinated bomb attacks on three American-owned hotels. At about 2100 hours, three suicide bombers blew themselves up almost simultaneously in the lobbies of three luxury hotels in Jordan's capital, Amman. The hotels were the Grand Hyatt Hotel, the Radisson Hotel, and the Days Inn Hotel. The hotels were selected as targets because they were very often frequented by foreign diplomats and also attracted other Westerners. The three suicide bombers blew themselves up simultaneously which killed 63 and injured 115 people. The Islamabad Marriott Hotel bombing occurred during the night of the 20th of September 2008 when a dump truck filled with explosives detonated in front of the Marriott Hotel in the Pakistani capital, Islamabad. Reports said that a deadly vehicle-borne suicide attack was used the blast also resulted in a 60-foot wide and 20-foot deep crater at the entrance of the hotel gate. The bombing killed 54 people and injured 266. 26th of November 2008, Mumbai attack, two hotels involved, the Taj Mahal Palace and the Oberoi Trident were among the four locations targeted. Six terrorists upheld many hostages for more than 40 hours. They also coordinated many shootings and bombings inside and outside the hotels. The casualty toll of the attacks was reported as 71 people killed and 52 injured. On the 17th of July, 2009, the JW Marriott and Ritz-Carlton Hotels in Jakarta, Indonesia were hit by separate bombings five minutes apart. Both blasts were caused by suicide bombers, where one of them had checked into the hotel as a guest several days earlier. Reports say that the terrorist had used improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, which were smuggled into the hotel one day before the blast. The bombings killed nine and injured 56 people. The Muna Hotel in the Somalia capital of Mogadishu was attacked on the 24th of August, 2010. 
The hotel was known to host government officials and other politicians. The two assailants disguised themselves by dressing in Somalia government uniforms. They also coordinated many shootings and bombings inside and outside the hotel, later blew themselves up within the building. The death toll in the attack rose to 32 people. Kabul's Intercontinental Hotel attack occurred on the 28th of June, 2011, by five armed suicide bombers and an ensuing five-hour siege. The attackers passed three security checkpoints and made their way to the rear of the hotel under concealment of thick vegetation. They also coordinated many shootings and bombings. Later, three suicide attacks occurred. The death toll in the attack rose to 11 and injured 13. The constant flow of large numbers of people in and out of hotels during the daily business hours makes them vulnerable for attacks. There are few targets that offer the potential awards for motivated terrorists than the hotels. Those rewards are a large target with potentially massive body counts and global exposure. As we come to the end of this section, let's summarize what we just went through. In this section, we briefly history of terrorist attacks in the hospitality industry and what the risks are of terrorism in hotels. Lastly, we learned about the tactics and the frequency of global terror attacks against hotels from the years 2002 to 2011. Additionally, this section also helped us in knowing and identifying some of the deadliest attacks on hotels, comparing casualty counts and attack methods.